and infrastructure lessons, of course, from Kamal Nath. The one thing that the UPA government did badly was infrastructure. Many promises were not met. I, I, I don't think so. We had to set up platforms. You just cannot say infrastructure and spend money. You got to see money is rightly spent. You got to create the platform. You got to create the, uh, the, uh, the projects. They've got to stand scrutiny. And all that has been done. It took us two years to prepare documents for the airport. But we never knew how to do it. What are public-private partnerships? But you didn't build highways. You didn't build more highways, uh, which you ought to the have done, taking the, the stimulus The from highways built in the last five Delhi. years are more than what they've ever been built before. Records show that. Now, there are highways where there are public-private partnerships. What is the right form of a public-private partnership? These were things which have now been put into place. Who better after all that talk of fueling growth than Pico Iyer telling us about the dangers of globalization. Globalization hasn't changed humanity fundamentally. It's only as good or bad as the use we choose to put it to. And McDonald's fundamentally isn't going to make us better, happier or healthier people. Those connections on the surface actually have concealed what are abiding differences That's deep right. down. Yes. And mm. I think the danger mm. of globalization is it's tempted us, as you say really, to underestimate the distances that remain. And I sometimes think the differences and distances between cultures now are greater than ever before because of the illusion of closeness. We brought in Jeffrey Sachs to help us spot new bubbles. I'm worried that in the United States, uh, part of the strategy actually seems to be to recreate the bubble. Uh, and uh, there has been a lot of pumping up of the money supply, uh, a lot of catering to the very banks that created this mess. Uh, you may talk, one may say something about socialism, but the question is, does government own industry or does industry own government right now? Then we had the inimitable Ramjeet Malani to tell us whether judges should declare assets. I think it is ridiculous that judges are making a point out of this. The judges, like other ordinary public servants and politicians as well, they should declare their assets. They should. Aren't they bound to declare their assets to the income tax authorities? And we got Arun Shori to tell us why we shouldn't be running to mummy all the time. Make them uh, adhere to such declarations. Which is to do to Pakistan what they do to us in Kashmir. Yes. In Pakistan. In Pakistan. Right. That's the only capacity and that requires a consistent policy over 20 years to build up that kind of a capacity. Then they will desist. Otherwise we are running to mummy, mummy, mummy. So you go to the US and the US has its own interests. The US is dependent on Pakistan. So that's not the way to go about it. MS Swaminathan on why we want to be a country with grain and not a country merely with guns. This coming decade is going to show one thing very clearly to India. A, we have to largely manage our food security with homegrown food. It has double advantage. One is we can be sure of the prices. Secondly, it also means we have made efforts to increase productivity and thereby the well-being of the small farmer. So, so, because there are some who believe we can, we have got enough foreign exchange, we can go on importing. I say the, the countries with grains uh, will be the most important countries in this decade, not with guns. Guns you can buy anywhere, grains you can't buy. Essentially, you're a bad writer who got lucky. I think they're right. I think they're right and my game is up and I think I should just quit. But you know what, I'll just keep going until it, uh, you know, my readers keep supporting me. Alright. <laughs> yes, Chetan Bhagat, as we end the first 100 episodes on Talkback. I really appreciate your, your sparing time and being on my show once again. I know I have to work hard to deserve to be here and there's a write a whole book, but it's worth it, I think. <laughs>